Hey, I'm here with another episode of the Business Spotlight series. I'm here with Sarah Wees of Sweet Tea Yoga. So Sarah, take just a quick minute to introduce yourself for us. Yeah, so my name is Sarah Ruiz, and I'm the owner of Sweet Tea Yoga here in Peachtree City, and we have been open since January of 2018 is when we opened our doors, and since then we have expanded, so we now have two studio spaces, um, so we can run classes simultaneously. One of them is a more designated warm room, so if you like heated hot yoga, we have that option. And then if you prefer not to be in the heat, we have that option as well. Um, so, you know, we have all different types of yoga classes. We offer gentle, um, beginner, and all the way up to advanced um, levels, which is Ashtanga or the heated power flow classes. And we do have about 17 different instructors here on um, teaching at the studio. So, um, you know, we have a wide variety of classes and personalities and styles that um, hopefully it can appeal to anyone who is interested in beginning a yoga practice. That's awesome. So you talked about it a little bit there, but who exactly are you looking to help? Who is going to be your target market in the area? Well, it's interesting that you say that people will call and they'll say, oh, but, you know, I'm elderly and or, you know, I'm not flexible and I can't do yoga. So yoga is truly for everybody. And um, just because you can't touch your toes, uh, that doesn't mean you're not set up for yoga. That, In fact, that's why you should come to yoga so that it, it does make it a little bit easier to get the shoes on. Um, you know, it, it just helps with mobility, flexibility, um, endurance. Um, a lot of it is also stress relief, um, how we feel in our bodies at the end of a practice. And essentially, it's taking time in your day to do something for yourself. And whether that be yoga, whether that be sipping a cup of tea, whether that be sitting and reading a book, it really is important that we take time to disconnect. Um, so not doing what we're doing here, which is looking at a screen, but doing something authentically um, you and something where you're connecting either with other human beings in person, which is, you know, wonderful way to connect with your community is in a yoga practice in a yoga studio um, or taking time out for yourself to just sit and breathe and, and have some a time out. We all need time outs. Absolutely. We all leave such busy lives now that, that taking that time for yourself is extremely important. So you, you talked a little bit about the, the large growth that you've seen since you launched the practice in 2018. What do you attribute all of that growth to? Well, some of it is information, right? I mean, one when we opened our doors in 2018, there really wasn't another yoga studio in, at least not in Peachtree City. Um, so a lot of it is education. What some people don't understand yet is, you know, I will get phone calls every once in a while and somebody will say, I'm a Christian, um, can I still practice yoga? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. So yoga originated in India as a philosophy. Um, however, the way we have sort of change that to meet our Western ideals, it is truly, um, it is a blend of the original yoga as well as a physical practice. So really you get out of it what you put into it. Um, if you want to get that spiritual side out of it, you can do that. As a Christian, I'm a Christian, you know, you can take that time to connect with God, you know, so it's really what you put into it, what you want to get out of it. Um, so the growth is from education. Um, you know, some people are understanding like, oh, this is what yoga is and it feels good and I really enjoy it. Um, and then also, you know, building a community is, is a beautiful thing. And it's something that I never really envisioned. I truly created the space because I love to practice yoga. Um, and I wanted, I needed a space to practice. And the fact that so many other people have come and benefited 
and just really get a lot out of that practice um, is a beautiful thing. You know, uh, we do genuinely have a wonderful, wonderful community. Absolutely. So you, you talked a little bit about you have a team of 17 or 18 different instructors now. When you're bringing on new instructors and growing that team, what specifically do you look for? And then how do you feel those qualities help to foster that, that positive environment, that positive uh, team you want to create? Yeah, so yoga is really about acceptance, right? And it's kind of accepting people as they are and as they walk in the door. And we are meant to be completely different human beings. So when a, an instructor comes in and she's authentically herself or he's authentically himself, you can tell right off the bat, right? And to me, authenticity and being true to who you are is just a huge part of, of yoga, of the practice, but also being successful in life, right? Um, and, you know, if somebody comes in and they're like, I'm familiar with this style of yoga, but I'm not comfortable teaching that style of yoga, that's something I can really appreciate and honor and I, and I, I value because we all have our strengths. And even in yoga, you know, I teach prenatal yoga. I love the pregnant women. I'm passionate about it. You, it's impossible to be passionate about all aspects of yoga. I mean, there are people who love yoga start to finish, but each person generally has their area of specialty. Um, so for an instructor coming in, I mean, the sort of the biggest compliment people will tell me is that every time, every class they've come to, they have felt welcomed and they have felt um, accepted and and comfortable. And each of our instructors, truly it's like going into someone's home where each of our instructors make it so that it is a welcoming environment. And that's not something you can, you can tell people how to do. You can't show people how to do that. That's just authentically who they are. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. And I have to say, we've been so fortunate to have so many amazing instructors come through our doors. Some have left, some have moved, some have moved, you know, to other states, um, to other countries, but it's really been a, a beautiful, um, a beautiful environment. Yeah. You've really built a, a huge following and a huge sense of community for everyone there. That's awesome. So um, as you go back and think about, you know, your experience in the business so far, what do you think has been the biggest learning or, uh, you know, biggest takeaway from running the business up to this point? Well, so we had the pandemic. <laughs> so that was um, a challenge for any and every business owner, right? We were so fortunate in the fact that we could run our business online. And so after I think, you know, the first initial month or so, we managed to launch everything via this wonderful platform, Zoom. Um, you know, it's a love-hate relationship, but we yeah. could move everything online. We could still connect with our people. Um, and that's always difficult, no, is, is you know, spontaneity and, and being flexible and, um, and making big changes quickly. I mean, sometimes, you know, it happens. We, and, you know, on, on a smaller scale, not a global pandemic, but, you know, when an instructor walks in and there's water pouring through the, the ceiling because a, a pipe has burst, you know, it's like, ah, what do I do? You know, get the towels. And, but these are things that, you know, that's life, right? Life is, Life can be messy and a bit, a bit of a mess, but you know we roll with it. The, actually, just we've had some crazy storms just recently, and I think it was Monday night um, we lost power, and the instructor said the power went out 30 minutes before class. She ran the whole class. They did the whole thing in the dark. Um, I mean, you know, we've got the beautiful floor to ceiling windows, but. I think everybody was just happy to go with the flow, you know, like, all right, we're here to do yoga. Let's just, we're doing it, you know? Awesome. That's awesome. So you, you talked about adjusting to some of the curveballs that you're thrown. So how do you balance your personal life with all the different demands you have for running the business? Yeah. So that's a, that's a tricky one. And as you know, you have a family, you have kids. 
um, that can be tricky, right? Especially when you are a business owner, because when you go on vacation, there's, you know, you're, there's still no switch off. Um, I have four kids, you know, different ages, uh, kind of all over. They're in a bazillion different activities. So, um, you know, I mean, it's just about balance. I try and do as much as I can during the times that they're occupied in school or in activities. Um, and then I really do try and prioritize for us. It's super important to sit down and have a meal together. Um, so we really try and make that happen, you know, almost every night. I'm really grateful because I have some amazing instructors who have more flexibility in the evenings and they can take over at the studio. Um, obviously calls still come through on the weekends and the evenings and I'm, you know, I'm pretty much accessible 24 seven, I wouldn't say 24 seven, but people do text at, you know, crazy hours, but I'll get back to you within a reasonable time frame. Yeah, when I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So how can people connect with you or learn more about Sweet Tea or sign up for a class? Yeah, so we are on social media, um, Instagram and Facebook. We have a website, sweetteayoga.com. Um, if you're familiar with the mind body program, there's a mind body app, which is like a health and wellness app. We're on there. You can find us on there. You can sign up for classes. You can see any specials we're offering. Um, really social media is probably going to be like one of the quickest way to see what's really coming up. Um, we have an awesome gal who runs our social media, um, who's also an instructor at the studio. Um, but yeah, so our website, but I mean, I'm happy to speak to people. And so feel free to send me an email, but if you want to just get to me quickly, pick up the phone and call. <laughs> Honestly, it's really, I'm old school. I'm happy to chat on the phone. Awesome. I will link all of that information in the description so people can reference it easily. And my last question for you today is what most inspires you as you continue to grow the business? Oh my goodness. Um, what inspires me as I continue to grow the business is seeing more people come up to the studio. No, watching the community grow, watching people fall in love with yoga and not just, you know, we're, we are definitely not profit driven. <laughs> we do a lot of, in fact, the other day I said to my husband, I'm like, maybe we need to rebrand as a nonprofit because we do so much you know, free yoga and, um, you know, we have all these teen groups come in and we do all that for free, but, but really it's about how people, um, feel in their bodies after a yoga practice. And I know you're familiar with the practice, but for somebody who's never done it before, it's a different experience than let's say going out for a run. You feel amazing after you go for a run, but after a yoga practice, there's also a sense of peace where you're like, Oh, okay. And so things just bounce a little bit differently. So I feel like with those curveballs, with, you know, four kids and the dog and all that craziness, when you've had time to take, you know, to, to go to a yoga class, to take that time to practice, those things just hit, a, excuse me, a little bit differently. Um, so it's really important to just... <clears throat> take the time to do it. Right. And so, and people will call me and I always say the hardest part is just making the time is just showing up. It's literally getting in your car and driving to the studio. And that's the hardest part of yoga. Taking that first step and committing and actually showing up. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for joining me today to share a little bit about you and about sweet tea. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it.